it's the holiday season. <laughs> it's the hurricane season. Oh, Sarah's all freaked because she saw USA Today article about how it's that, that, time of the, that, time, that time of the year. September is typically the most hectic hurricane. Rain. Did you hear that? But the, I don't know if Sarah read it, but the shear winds are slowing down, which that's usually what suppresses the hurricanes. Keeping this season unseasonably quiet. This has been your meteorologist, Peter Brookhart, <laughs> from the Brookhart This season is unseasonably quiet, however, but it's, gonna pick up. it's picking up soon. Yeah. So the part of the year that we are going to have a handful of storms is coming. Yeah, and they're saying as, as soon as this weekend. There's a couple of cells growing, or like systems growing in the it's Caribbean like broad. and out by Africa. Um, so it's raining and it's windy, and we're back at the Contemporary because we've kept a secret. Our friends Peter and Marion are back from Canada visiting, and we're going to the wave with them tonight. We've never been, neither no, of us. Neither of us. That doesn't happen oftentimes these no. days. Um, we also don't know how to navigate this parking lot, and I know there's fences everywhere. I think we gotta walk that way now. I think so too. And I, why do I feel like it should be Christmas time? Because I feel like we came here a lot last Christmas season, and maybe we were. I don't know. I feel like it's Friday. <laughs> I, I was feeling that in the car. It's only Wednesday. It's only Wednesday, Peter. Tomorrow's huh. laundry day. It's always laundry day. The wave of American flavors. I've heard good things about their breakfast buffet. I've heard, yes, but I've heard iffy things about everything else. So I'm excited because I like to break the norms. Vegetarian options. Everybody, I'm super jealous. There's this thing called the DDAC, the Disney Data and Analytics Conference, going on right now all week. Contemporary. At the contemporary. So I just saw like all the signage and everything for it. And I wish I was attending. <laughs> I'm a data analyst. I feel like my company should have paid for me to go to this. But it was like, I looked it up months ago. It was like $2,000 for the three day event. For like the bare bone ticket. Like not even to go to the fun stuff or extra stuff. Maybe next year. Lunch favorites, dinner favorites, full lounge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. look at this fancy entryway. We don't know where our friends are. We're gonna make sure they're not here. Um, this place is swanky. And a bar, it's super fancy in here. And then another lounge over here for seating, I think. Or this is just part of the lounge. I wonder if this is just the bar that you can come hang This is the bar you can just come hang out in. Sarah, you could just hang out at that bar with all these cool circle areas. What? That's just the bar, like the lounge. How come we've never hung out at this bar before? I don't know. This is the next bar we're hanging out at. Yeah. We're bringing our friends here. Yeah, I saw on the, um, the menu when I was again the ministry, like the lounge. Oh my god. So we had that delicious dinner and we're with our friends in their room. Look They're at this. They're staying at view. Mailing Tower. Theme park view. Look at that. That's B Space oh, yeah, Mountain. So this is already starting the music. And this will play it? Hmm? They're yeah. going to play the music on the TV? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Woo! Wow. There's we really don't. Um, Realize how far back it all is. You know, over here, yeah. you expect everything to kind of be by the castle. Oh, Yeah. 
iridescent. <laughs> Alrighty, the fireworks are over. They so graciously let us film in their hotel room. Look at this. It's a two bedroom DVC unit, two bedroom villa. It's beautiful. We've right. never been in here before. Not at Bay Lake, no. No. Well, actually, we've never even been in Contemporary either. Yeah. So here is the um, washer and dryer, little closet. Closet. Yeah. A room with one balcony. Mm hmm. Beautiful. And then another awesome view and this artwork. So cute. And then a separate room just for like a vanity sink. This feels like it should be, this is not DV, typical DVC. Yeah. I was just talking to Peter that this looks like it feels like a hotel kind of, and it does. Like uh -huh. this, if this was like a traditional DVC, this would be open up to the, yeah. the bathroom in here. Well, this isn't the master. True. But still, I feel Sun like that bathroom. should be open. And then on the other side is the master. Nice big yeah. vanity. Oh, sorry. I came over here. Bathtub. Oh, it does open. See? You could take yeah. a bath and look at the castle. Watch Stacy while watching the fireworks. I can't believe they pumped in the music for the fireworks through the TV here. And then this is the cute artwork above this bed. There we go. <laughs> and they actually just put a camera out here for the wow. fireworks. So look how creepy Space Mountain looks. The water parade. What's going on? Where's the laundry? Oh! Dirty laundry down there. Wow. But it's cool, you can actually see Bay Lake. I always forget there's a tennis and basketball court over here. Yeah. Ooh, Sarah the monorail. Sarah's secretly, Sarah secretly putting on the wrist strap right now because she realized she's all <laughs> up <laughs> with the camera over the yeah. edge. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Where oh my gosh. See? You would not be able to get us off of this balcony. If no, we stayed thinking, here. I had a vision of myself years from now with like our children here just taking a staycation on the weekend, watching the fireworks with that TV on follow lights off. Mm -hmm. That's what we just did. It's, I like this a lot more than I thought I was going to like it. Still very modern, but like definitely. And hotel -y. Like definitely like feels, um, like still homey. Like I feel like still you Disney. have, yeah, like you have that like feeling of being in a Disney hotel here on a Disney vacation. Disney Stacy to be bumping all the time. Welcome to Must Do Disney. I'm your host, Stacy. We're getting ready to leave Bay Lake Tower. We said goodbye to our friends. And look at this sign. I've never seen that before like this. The planned power outage? I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna pull my snobbiness right now, my, my hospitality hotel snob. If they have a planned outage like that, they should have and I know Disney has them because I've seen them. They should have a uh, generator. This is a DVC building, if anything. Like, let's go even a level snobbier. This isn't just a hotel. It's a DVC building. They should have. I'd have my. I'd be on the phone with the HOA right now. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You're gonna warn me that you're gonna pull my the, the plug on the power. It's Seventy degrees. It feels great. It feels like fall, doesn't it? Like this weather in Disney automatically brings me back to the Disney College program because that was the first time I ever experienced a not hot Florida. This weather in Disney makes me feel like I can go and do four parks one hour. Look at, look at this the Magical Express at this hour. Are they leaving or coming? They're leaving. That's, so sad. That's like a one in your flight. I was gonna say something, but I forgot because the Magical Express got me sad, so I'm not gonna say something right now. Where are you, Tonight's Christmas movie of the choice <laughs> is a classic choice by Peter. I don't know if Sarah's ever actually seen this all the way. Have you? Right all the way. The Bishop's Wife. Featuring Cary Grant, Loretta Young, and David Nathan. Wow. Classic. Love it. So, love it. Our friends from Canada are actually from the UK, but they're from Canada. Yeah, they're a super they interesting in story. Canada. Maybe we'll get their permission one day to tell their story because I love it because they like spent their life in UK and they also have like a whole second life in yeah. Canada. It's awesome. They're super interesting. We love um, them very much. We love them very much. We love just to sit down and talk and hear stories and tell them our stories. And, and they we always got, bring us treats. They like to expand our American palates. But we actually got to, before we go, we got to meet one of their, uh, well they got to meet their daughter and their granddaughter. And, their granddaughter. and so it was super fun. nice to finally meet them after hearing months and months and months of their stories because we actually got a letter from them 
two Christmases ago back from Fab 5207 days. Yeah, they were our very first, like, Magical mail. Yeah, oh. so that's kind of crazy. These are from Scotland. Mackey's of Scotland crispy bacon flavor chips. Show, show one of these bags. Put the these front. are... Mature cheddar and onion. Onion is spelled so funny. Well, I think it's got it in, like, English, and then it's got it in some other language. Sea salt, salt and, vinegar. and vinegar. Oh, that's why. Gotcha. It's got I it was in looking English, at and then it's got it in French. It's got it in some weird spelling. <laughs> Our Guinness flavor chips. Oh, they're Burt's, right? I think. Do we have these ones? Yeah, I'm trying those. These are hula hoop salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar is my jam. Uh-oh. So we love this. grand finale. Oh, we We've had these. They've gotten these before. Yeah. They probably awesome. know that we love them. Well, we're just going to taste test. Oh, well, taste our test time. First up, crispy bacon. First up, crispy bacon. It tastes like those TGI Friday's baked potato. They probably had like bacon taste on them. If you told me those, those weren't bacon flavored and they were meat flavored, I'd, get, I'd like them more than the fact that you called them bacon flavored. Still really like them. These taste very strange. I know, I got it. Ooh. They kind of taste like beer smells. They do smell like goodness. They, they taste, taste like, like good kind of chips. Yeah. They taste like a not, not as intense version of what are those things? Did they give us those weird things before that are supposed to taste bad, but I really like them? It tastes like a not, it's like they all the, it's like 80, 85, 87% of the the seasoning fell off of those one kind of chips I got last time. What were those called? I don't know, but they were like sticks and they were really bitter. I'll find them. That's what these taste like. Hulu time. Guys, look, she's just trying to find a Christmas tree, and the professor there who doesn't believe in Christmas must haggle for every branch. It's not worth a dime per branch. Sorry for that. What? Don't act so surprised. It tastes like salmon. No, I wasn't surprised by the taste. I was surprised by the consistency. It's like styrofoam. Like, they, they feel fake in my mouth. Like another one? uncooked pasta. They sound fake when you bite into them. Uncooked pasta, styrofoam mixed with uncooked pasta is the perfect consistency. I like them. They're just the initial... The initial was a little... surprising. Look at the crack on this. There's the crispiness. And Eve is so <laughs> angry. Oh, she's thirsty. Look at her. She wants her water. Here you go, Eve. Told you, she only drinks out of this cup now. Here. How was it? It's really good. Tell me, why does chocolate from overseas taste... It's like richer. I don't know. It's like, a, it's different chocolate. <laughs> I love chocolate here, like it's just like different. Like it's just like, it's almost like creamier. I think that's what it is. This is what happens when Eve like drinks too much water. We have to wrap this up because that's way too much footage. America, I love you for what you are, but I wish your chocolate was as rich as other countries. Sarah, I don't, I don't Sarah speaks differently, so we can. We it's okay for us to have different views. <laughs> it's just creamier. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled. Walt Disney Productions.